The video you just saw is from a channel called Old Minecraft Reuploads. To anyone, these 9 videos might look like old garbage, but what if I told you there's a deep and dark secret within them? To understand the secrets, we need to start at the beginning. The video begins as normal with a player going about their day in an alpha version of Minecraft. Calming Minecraft music plays which is often okay but in this video makes it more eerie. Things start to get weird when the player enters the mines. He looks around for a few seconds before leaving and travelling to an alternate entrance. Just before he enters the cave the video cuts. It's pitch black and the player is left on half a ha. The video then cuts back as if nothing had happened. Random cutaways are very common throughout the nine videos and all mean something but for now we have no clue what this is or what it means right before the video ends the player travels into the mine and encounters this Right as the video cuts, you can see a pair of legs travelling fast towards the player. But this itself has so many red flags. Sprinting was not added until beta Minecraft so wherever this is, it's not natural. If you take a look at the captions, there are a few more clues. The three captions we can see say, Ah, uh, um, you. After we meet this unknown entity, the word you is displayed. Is the video telling it's coming for us? Is the character called you? Or does it mean nothing at all? The description itself doesn't give too many clues either. On top of this, the music that is played is a soundtrack called Mice on Venus. Music was first added into Minecraft in Alpha 1.2, a version that was released an entire month after this video was recorded. Could this mean that the player had an unreleased copy of Minecraft? Well, it's not clear. There are two unreleased features in the game, so it could be. We'll have to look at the next video for more clues. The TNT Porner is without a doubt the least useful video out of the 9. It sticks out as an outlier from the rest which makes it even more interesting. The video is a montage of the unnamed player bombing the mobs that are in his world. But it's in this video we get the first ever direct message from the player themselves. The TNT Porner gets his revenge on the monsters of the night. To understand what these pair of legs might entail, we need to watch video number 3, the creepiest video ever. For me, the third video is the creepiest and most unsettling of them all and here's why. The player is simply exploring some caves when 18 seconds in the most unsettling part happens. You can very clearly see the outline of another player. What makes this even worse is that this is a single player world. Whoever this entity is, it's not a different player, it's something supernatural. Things get even weirder when the player experiences this. This is very very weird. Someone or something is moving while the player is not. Due to the volume of the footsteps, the unknown entity is moving closer to the player. The sudden increasing fogginess of the cave is another phenomenon. The sound that the player hears is an unused audio effect by Mojang that was never added. Had the player once again gotten an unreleased version of Minecraft. There have been two instances of unreleased music and sound effects in the videos. The description also gives us no insight to the mysterious figure. It acts as if nothing happened whereas in the video the player seems very scared. Though one thing is certain for sure, this mysterious presence was stalking the player. Had the player done something wrong? Is this a secret addition to Minecraft or something more sinister? All questions that are left unanswered but the next video might be able to give some clues. The fourth video has a lot of similarities like the second video where there's nothing to it. The player simply looks around the Minecraft tutorial level and the unknown entity is not seen at all, just like the second video. But in this video lays a secret to why the player might be getting stalked in the first place. This video out of them all has the most red flags. The tutorial world the player is on looks nothing like the one we know. Brown and black sheep were not added until beta 1.2 and neither were birch trees. 
On top of this, the tutorial world is only available for console players. It was never released for PC. That includes Java. The actual tutorial world was released in May of 2011, when this video was recorded 7 months earlier. In Minecraft Alpha, the play tutorial level button was greyed out, making it impossible to press and enter. This means the unknown player somehow got a copy of the tutorial world. The description might help us understand how the tutorial was received. Thanks to Legend of Anthony 721 for helping me getting this working. We're introduced to our first name character. The description also says not sure, but I'm not sure what this points to. Anthony helped the player receive this unreleased version. In the earliest version of the tutorial world, there are powered minecart rails, but that doesn't exist in the video. Neither do the paintings in the castle that we see in the video. Anthony had somehow gotten three unreleased versions of Minecraft. But in the next video, we would finally get a name of who has gone through all of these creepy events. And they will talk to Anthony in a one-to-one -one conversation. This video is the earliest recorded out of the nine and wouldn't have anything creepy. The footage is the player who's going around and talking to Anthony. But the conversation between these two is the most interesting and cryptic. We finally get a name of the player all along. His name is Mario and the conversation goes like this. I hope you've been doing better. I haven't gotten better at all honestly. I still feel like total shit. Well, I still hope things do get better. I don't know if it's really that bad, but I'm starting to get worried. I would. When the video cuts off, the last frame doesn't give us much. The question at hand is what did Anthony do? What jumps to my mind is that because Anthony has all these unreleased Minecraft versions, he had to endure some form of punishment. For all I know, it can be something completely different. What is clear though is that Anthony did something wrong and is not okay. The description of the video doesn't give me any pointers either. This is the last normal video we have because the final four would without a doubt be the scariest. The sixth video is so far the creepiest of them all and there is a lot to pick apart. Instead of Mario, this POV is from Anthony himself. While Anthony is building, he's continuously distracted from a cave in the distance, but there are already red flags. At roughly 17 seconds in, there are two distinct black spots supposedly watching Anthony. When he looks back from the same place, the black spots are gone. Although this can be a simple screen tear in the footage, it clearly caught Anthony's attention. On top of this, the music playing is an unreleased soundtrack made by Notch himself. It's called Come 4ogg and it's within a lot of tracks Notch made for the game that isn't used. Once again, another unreleased version of Minecraft and this was the fourth time. Once Mario approaches the cave, he pauses right in front of it to turn off the music. You can tell from the title screen that the world is single player, so nothing should be happening, right? That's what I thought until I saw and heard this. Between the two title screens, a silhouette of some sort is present. After a lot of speculation and decision, the silhouette is unknown. It cannot be another person as there is no name tag and the world is single player. Zombies don't create such dark silhouettes, so whatever this is, is not normal. We know Anthony is not alone because of the block placing sounds. Something is in there with him and it's rampant to scare Anthony. The deeper into the cave Anthony goes, the more alarms go off. There are a lot of man-made holes within the cave. This might have been made from Anthony or this sinister entity which we haven't seen. He comes across some skeletons which might look normal but aren't. The skeletons move and shoot their arrows as a 3D model which was not added until almost a year later. When Anthony reaches the end of the cave, something unexpected happens. The same entity who has been appearing time and time again would hurt Anthony once more. He would rush out of the cave, seal it and hide in the corner of his castle. Whatever this is, it was not natural as it had features of Minecraft that weren't out yet. Mario and Anthony has been hurt and scared by this entity time and time again, but what does it want? Does it want to scare them and if so, why? What's the reason to go through all this effort to scare two Minecraft players? 
Well, the next video might give us some pointers. The seventh video picks up directly where Anthony left off from before. Instead, this is now Mario playing. Mario recovers back to full health and goes back to explore the cave that Anthony sealed off. The cave, however, was very different from when Anthony played it. I mean, very different. The cave had been excavated in various strips and it's obvious the entity was busy. We can also see that Mario is playing with a red skin when this feature wouldn't be in the game for another 5 days. The only paranormal activity happens towards the end of the video when Mario places down a torch. The tunnels the entity had dug meant it had access to the world even when it was not open. Even though this video might give away the least, the next one would be the most confusing and cryptic. Before we even start the video, the description has something very interesting. Nothing. No file dates, no original description, nothing. Looking at the version of the game, the video can be between August 23rd and September 10th. This means no matter what, this video is the earliest in the nine. The video starts off with a player in a mine and we don't know whether this is Anthony, Mario or someone else. At 19 seconds in, the video cuts off and the following sequence plays out. This is not normal. There is a lot to pick apart here with the first being the reality in which the player is inside. The player is teleported to a purgatory type area which doesn't just happen in Minecraft. He then approaches a wall of gates and I've seen a lot of theories on the meaning behind the fences. Because the video has no file date, this might not even be an actual Minecraft event, just a recreation of the trapped feeling that Anthony might have had when he did the bad thing that he said. But I'm just stretching a little bit at this point. Analyzing later into the video, we can see a clear person in the bottom left of the screen. People thought that this was the entity that we've been seeing, but after a lot of debates, it's still not clear. There's no real detail or anything that gives away who this could be. It looks like a black skin, but for all we know, this can be anyone. The most cryptic part of this video is the end where a bunch of gibberish is shown below. Although this might look like rubbish, this is actually Caesar Cipher system used in order to code messages. If you shift this message by a certain number of letters, you get this. You never really were the nicest person, Anthony. Quit lying to yourself. Now we have no clue who is insulting Anthony, but on top of this, we don't even know who is playing. However, there are clues in the earlier videos that might give us an idea. In every video that we know Anthony is playing, he has his tools on the left. The tools that are all the way on the right is how Mario has his. Earlier in the video, we can see that the tools are all the way on the left, so we have reason to believe that this person is Anthony. Okay, Anthony is playing and he was in this odd purgatory, so who is insulting Anthony to his face? It's definitely not Mario, but it could be the entity talking to Anthony for the first time there's no way to be sure. As odd as this video was, the next and final video would be the scariest and most disturbing. The ninth and final video is the latest recorded being on the 29th of December. At the beginning of the video, there is a clear conversation between Anthony and Mario. Mario says to delete the world and that he found something really wrong. We can assume this is from the world where the videos Minecraft Castle Construction and For Anthony take place. But there's a red flag that makes this really confusing. Anthony played on Mario's world in videos 6 and 7, meaning Mario is playing on Anthony's world in this final video. That explains why the tools are on the left when Mario usually 
actually has them on the right. When Mario says I'll send the video later I record, he can either be talking about for Anthony or the final video we're about to go into. It's not clear. But if Mario is talking about Minecraft castle construction, why would him and Anthony be having this conversation a month after it happened? Perhaps the video was just uploaded later or the recording had been altered, but it's very odd if it isn't. The mob grinding continues for 2 minutes when all of a sudden everything goes black. When it cuts back, Mario is in a cave with one and a half hearts. What's even more eerie is what you can hear when he's in the cave. There were sounds on grass when Mario was in a cave. Something is in there with him and it's angry. When Mario runs out, he comes to find that everything is dead. The entity had gone on a killing spree and evidently hurt Mario in the process. Very scared and shook, Mario runs to a safe house on the ground and he sees a figure standing in the mountains. He gets a few minecarts and bolts away, but what would happen next would terrify him. What is the scariest is how fast the blocks were placed. Mario looks away for 2 seconds and no natural thing in Minecraft can travel that quick. Whatever this is, it's not normal. I also had a thought that not only is the entity quick but can also go invisible. That would explain the torch breaking in for Anthony. Now to tie everything we've seen in all 9 videos, this is what I came up with. Mario and Anthony are two friends who found Minecraft in his early stages and had an interest. They were so eager to see Minecraft's development and released but didn't feel like waiting. So Anthony went out of his way to find some unreleased versions of Minecraft from someone else. But in the unreleased versions is a special code that was added to scare players away from the game in case it was stolen. Since the developers knew that people found the alpha fog creepy, they knew they could add a horror element to it. The gated feeling in video 8 can either symbolise Anthony breaking and stealing the files or the trapped and guilty feeling that he got when he stole them. The first is more likely as the conversation between Mario and Anthony takes place soon after the time frame of video 8. Anthony would continue playing on the unreleased version of Minecraft but when video 6 takes place he is scared and shook. Anthony was the first to discover the horror aspect of the unreleased version in Minecraft castle construction. A month later he sends the world to Mario so he can look at it as well but it also infects Mario's world. The entity that was coded definitely had the power to kill both Mario and Anthony but it chose not to. The developers knew that if the entity killed them it would be boring and not scary but bringing them close to death would be. There are still so many questions left unanswered. The biggest one being the real meaning of the video are the two. In the description of the channel it says videos are from 2010 and 2011. The only videos on the channel are from 2010 so for all we know there could be the answer to everything but we just haven't seen it yet. Hopefully one day we get an ending to this series and all questions are answered but for now everything remains a mystery.